If you had one shot, or one opportunity, would you capture? Just let it slip. If you had one shot, one opportunity to stop Donald Trump in 2024, would you capture it or just let it slip away? Well, today, folks, one of the most prolific and successful hip hop artists of all time answered his own question by tripling down and stepping up to the proverbial mic to once again drop a brutal bombshell on Donald Trump. And the real Slim Shady taking this moment to please stand up could not have come at a better time. Because the election is now officially less than two weeks away, and the candidates have been leaving no stone unturned in pulling out all the stops. On one side, you have the Democratic former Attorney General, Senator, and current Vice President entering the lion's den to take on the Fox News propaganda network. May I please finish? I'm asking you to. Well, then you have to listen. Well, I can't because I'm talking. Well, well when will you stop? And maybe when I go to bed? Okay. And on the other hand, you have the Republican senile convicted felon PDF uh, rapist doing whatever the hell this is. I love salt. Wait a minute, I spilled some. I'm very superstitious. You take it for granted. You say, give me french fries. I'll never forget this experience. I always figured somebody stuffs them in with their hand and I don't like that. And they don't do it that way. They, they, you never touch them. It's really great. You thought the fries come out of the boiling oil and the workers making that sweet, sweet 425 an hour just reach in and go, ah! Yeah, and I know it's technically illegal for him to work there, but honestly, they should just save democracy and give him the job. When is something being illegal stop Trump anyway? But on top of making memes out of press interviews and making J.D. Vance's donut debacle look normal. So, uh, how long you been black? <laughs> The candidates have also been securing crucial celebrity endorsements, particularly in major cities of battleground states, most recently and most notably in the city of Detroit, Michigan, home of the man himself, Marshall Mathers, AKA Eminem. And today, he blindsided Donald Trump harder than getting hit by an F-150. Now you may remember that back on the eve of the election in 2020, Eminem gave Joe Biden and Kamala Harris permission to use his hit song, Lose Yourself, in this campaign ad that unfortunately I can't play due to copyright reasons. Which on one hand was pretty epic for Harris because it's badass and I'll link to it below, but on the other hand it was absolutely humiliating for Donald Trump. Not only because Tiny Fingers can't get his grubby fingers on the music rights to anything other than Kid Rock or the YMCA. So play YMCA, go ahead, let's go, nice and loud. Here we go everybody. He can dance all he wants to YMCA or to any other song he doesn't realize is a gay anthem. Or because Eminem sent a cease and desist to Vivek Ramaswamy last year for trying to use the song in his own presidential campaign. But also because this is now the second celebrity from Detroit to absolutely bash Donald Trump almost immediately after he made these disparaging remarks about the Motor City. I don't think anything that we're talking about today is high on our list. Every, the whole country is going to be like, you want to know the truth? It'll be like Detroit. Our whole country will end up being like Detroit if she's your president. You're going to have a mess on your hands. She right. Getting on the city you're campaigning in isn't exactly a brilliant strategy, but it is to be expected from the man who needs diapers so bad he literally sh it's everywhere he eats. And speaking of leaving a bad taste in your mouth, those comments from Trump led pop star Lizzo to say this at Kamala's rally in Detroit right afterward. I'm so proud to be from this city. You know, they say if Kamala wins, then the whole country will be like Detroit. Okay? Proud like Detroit. Resilient like Detroit. We're talking about the same Detroit that innovated the auto industry and the music industry. So put some respect on Detroit's name! Now, I don't know if Lizzo is really the one I want to hear speaking about not tearing people down. In fact, I'd much rather just hear her fat shame Donald Trump like she's apparently so good at, because it does take an alleged sexual harasser to no one. But her sentiment against Donald Trump does have some merit, and the anti-Trump position is something fellow Detroiter Eminem has held for a long time. Which makes his latest slight against fat boy not slim even better. You may remember Eminem's infamous anti-Trump rap where he addressed his fans saying, 
thing. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing a line in the sand. You're either for or against, and if you can't decide who you like more, and you're split on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this, F you. And he then doubled down and repeated that sentiment a few months later when he told Billboard, quote, at the end of the day, if I did lose half my fan base, then so be it, because I feel like I stood up for what was right, and I'm on the right side of this. And that is frankly commendable for a rapper who has a large overlap between both his fan base and supporters of Donald Trump. And it's a stance he's not backed down from to this day. Watching him play to his base that thinks that he cares about them, and it's actually the people that he cares about the least. If you're talking about his core being, you know, a majority white middle class, what I don't understand is how in the do you feel like you relate to a billionaire who has never known struggle his entire life? I will say this, he talks a good one. And if you're in his base, you're a core, let's say you're going to the rallies or whatever, you watch him on TV, you hear him talking this There's part of me that understands like, all right, he's somehow still got them because he's brainwashing them into thinking that something great is gonna happen. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. I don't know, man. I get, I get really flustered when I talk about it. But today, Eminem had one fan in particular that he was totally on the same side as, deciding to pay back this old friend you might recognize for his support of Eminem's work in the past. When I needed some inspiration on the presidential campaign, I often turned to music. It was rap that got my head in the right place. Two songs especially. Jay-Z's My First Song and Eminem's Lose Yourself. Both were about defying the odds and putting it all on the line. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip? And today, Eminem is yet again putting his fan base on the line to slam Donald Trump. And this time, the stakes couldn't be any higher. Because Eminem will officially introduce Barack Obama and share remarks at a Kamala Harris rally tonight in Detroit following years of going after both Trump and his supporters. Now that is something I would pay to see in person and it will surely be the makings of incredible viral anti-Trump clips later today. With Obama being on a damn near stand-up comedy tour the way he's railing against Trump and cracking jokes at his expense, having Eminem there will make it a set for the ages. And one last thought on this whole situation. Even though Donald Trump is aware of this beef between him and Eminem and Eminem's critiques and insults about the former president, he has never responded or called Eminem out on any of it. I don't know if it's because he's afraid of losing supporters who are fans of Eminem, or if it's just because he genuinely doesn't want that smoke because he's a little bitch. Both things can certainly be true, but either way, it is clear this whole situation makes Trumpy Dumpty look even more pathetic than this. So play YMCA, go ahead, let's go, nice and loud. Here we go, everybody. I'm Kenny Hess for Really American, and I'll see you all in the next one.